Hi there, I'm Sol with MyWorks, and in this video, I'm going to be walking you through a demo of our MyWorks QuickBooks desktop sync for WooCommerce. This is our integration that automates your accounting between WooCommerce and QuickBooks desktop. Now, we do also have support for QuickBooks Online and Point of Sale versions, and you can also find our separate demo videos for those. Now, let's dive in and let me show you how it works. Now, as you can see here, we're in the back end of WordPress. So MyWorks integrates your WooCommerce and QuickBooks desktop by adding a helper plugin on your WordPress site and then connecting to QuickBooks desktop using the QuickBooks web connector. That's an app that QuickBooks has developed to allow for connections like these. Now, by connecting directly to the QuickBooks web connector, we ensure that your connection is safe and secure. So your data goes straight from your website into your QuickBooks not processed by us or by any third parties. Now in this video, we're going to discuss a few of the most common questions and use cases of MyWorks, but keep in mind that with how powerful MyWorks is, we do support more complex setups, such as custom field mapping, advanced tax and payment syncing, bundled or composite products. And of course, we do support versions of QuickBooks that are hosted on platforms such as Write Networks. If you do have more questions about your specific needs, we definitely encourage you to reach out to us via live chat or schedule a live demo with one of our team members. Now, let's look at how we can automate your accounting so you can spend more time on the things that truly move the needle for your business. Now, MyWorks will completely automate the data entry between WooCommerce and QuickBooks. That means that all of the data created in WooCommerce about your sales, such as your orders and your customers and your payments and your transaction fees, all of that is going to be entered into QuickBooks automatically. We can also sync data from QuickBooks into WooCommerce and vice versa, and of course, in both ways. So for example, inventory. You might manage inventory in one platform or the other, or in both. So we can actually sync inventory in both directions. This way, we'll make sure that all of your data is in sync. What's also nice is if you create new data, such as products or customers in WooCommerce, we can sync them over to QuickBooks. And if you create products in QuickBooks, we can also sync them back into WooCommerce. So aside from syncing your accounting data, we can also help you save time in a lot of other areas. So let me show you how it works. So first, as I mentioned, the connection is going to be made with QuickBooks through the QuickBooks web connector. You'll follow a few quick steps here to connect the two platforms. And then you will configure your custom way of syncing through our settings. Now you're going to see here, we have quite a few different pages of settings. We have default settings, order settings, product settings, customers, taxes, mapping, poll, automatic sync, and other miscellaneous settings. Now I'll just show you a few of the most important ones. But again, we do encourage you to contact us via live chat or to schedule a demo if you want to talk more about specific features or your use case. So let's start with the automatic sync tab. Here you can see what type of data we sync in each direction. From WooCommerce to QuickBooks, we sync customers, orders, products, variations, and payments. Then from QuickBooks to WooCommerce, we sync inventory, pricing, and products. Now you might have noticed that we have on and off switches here. These allow you to enable or disable syncing in each direction. So for example, if you create products in QuickBooks and you want them to automatically sync to WooCommerce, you will want to turn this setting on. If you want to sync inventory changes from QuickBooks to WooCommerce, you'll also turn the setting on. Next, I'm going to show you a few of the order sync settings. So these are very important. And what you're going to see here is there are a lot of settings. So I, I'm not going to bore you with all of them, but I do want you to understand that you can customize basically every area of the sync. First, we have how you sync your WooCommerce orders. So you can sync them as an invoice, as a sales receipt, as a sales order, or as an estimate. You can also customize the way that you sync each order and the format based on the WooCommerce customer role or the payment gateway used at checkout. It's really handy and useful settings. Next, I want to show you the sync trigger. So how do we decide what syncs to QuickBooks? we actually decide it based on the WooCommerce order status. And actually it's not what you, you do. So in this field, you're going to enter all of the statuses that you want to trigger a sync to WooCommerce. So in this field, you're going to enter all of the statuses that you want to trigger a sync to QuickBooks. For example, these could be pending payment, processing, on hold, completed or canceled or any other custom statuses that you've entered in your WooCommerce. Next, what I'd like to show you is that you can assign a few actions to happen automatically when that order reaches QuickBooks. So you might need all of your orders to be printed, or you might need the order notification or the invoice to be emailed to your customer. So both of these are options. You can turn these settings on. 
Now, a lot of other options such as assigning templates to your orders, assigning reps, kind of controlling how that accounting data is entered in the order in QuickBooks, how your transaction fees are entered, how your taxes are entered, how your discounts are entered. You have complete control over all of it. By this point, there are almost no requests from new users that we haven't been able to meet. Next, I would like to show you our mapping page. So when you first set up, if you are setting up with an existing WooCommerce and then also an existing QuickBooks, you'll need to match data between your two platforms. For example, you might have customers that exist in WooCommerce and also in QuickBooks. You might also have products that are already exist in both platforms. You'll need to map these. And the good news is it's quite easy to do this. So we allow you to auto map your customers based on any of these fields ranging from email to account number. Um, and what we'll do is we'll look at those fields and we'll find anything that matches and we'll auto map it. And then if there's anything that we couldn't match, that's okay, we'll just leave the drop down empty. So you could say, okay, we did not have a match for Nearly in QuickBooks based on their email address or their account number, but she does actually exist in QuickBooks. So in that case, you would click down here, you would search for that user and then be able to manually map this. This is of course also an option. If none of your data matches across both platforms, you can definitely match just everything up manually. It'll just take a little bit more time, of course. Next, we have product mapping. On this topic, I do want to mention that we have full support for WooCommerce products, variations, bundles, and composite products. In terms of how we map your data, you will want to note that we have an area to map regular products or parent products, as well as to map variations. Now on the topic of variations, you might already know that WooCommerce and QuickBooks handle variations in a very different way. So what we do so that you can map these variations across both platforms is in WooCommerce, we break out each individual variation so that you can map it to its corresponding QuickBooks product. So for example, in WooCommerce, we'll have a variation that could be a t-shirt in the color red and then the size small. QuickBooks would usually treat that as a completely separate product. And that way we can map these things. You can also assign classes as you can see. Now back to regular products. I do wanna show you again, we can auto map our products by name, SKU number, ID, or a custom product field. And again, we'll do basically the same thing as I showed you with, with the customers. We will try to match everything up. And then if there's anything that we couldn't match, we'll just leave it empty for you to handle on your own. All right, so next let's discuss payments. So if you are processing payments in WooCommerce, you're gonna to need to account for that data in QuickBooks. The great news is that MyWorks can automate all of that. We can sync your payment information, we can sync the transaction fee, and we can do all of this following your exact needs. So I'm going to show you Stripe as a payment gateway option. In your case, you're going to see all of your payment processors or gateways on this page, and you'll be able to configure individual settings for each one. If we use Stripe as the example, you can enable payment syncing, you can choose how you want to sync your order. Now this connects to what I was showing you back in our order sync settings, where you could say, okay, I wanna sync an order in a different way based on the, the way the order was paid. If, for example, a customer paid by credit card, you probably want to sync that as a sales receipt. If they chose the option to pay by check or pay later, then you'll want to sync that order over as an invoice. Next, you can choose the label for that payment, then the bank account where that payment should be recorded in. It's very nice here is you can choose different bank accounts for each one of your processors. You can also map terms if you would like to. And then you can enable refund syncing and you have a few more options and settings like advanced settings for syncing your refunds. Next, you can also choose an accounts receivable account. You can choose to sync your transaction fee as a negative line item. And if you do, you can also choose a negative line item product for it. Now, another option is to sync an artificial payment if an order is marked as a specific status. So in your case, you might mark an order as complete. And if that status is there, you want that order to be marked as paid in QuickBooks. Great. Now, if you do have any payment processors that don't record your transaction fee inside of the WooCommerce order. You might be struggling with that. We do have a solution actually. So MyWorkSync is able to pull that transaction fee and it'll also sync that transaction fee over to QuickBooks. So you'll be able to correctly account for your transaction fees 
and again, our goal here is always to automate as much as we can for you. And as you can see in this process, basically everything is automated for you. Next, I would like to show you taxes. We can sync taxes between WooCommerce and QuickBooks. There are just two different ways. If you have automated sales taxes enabled in WooCommerce, we will sync them over automatically. If you have manual tax rates, then we'll just map them to their corresponding tax rates in QuickBooks. We can also sync your coupon codes, and then we can also sync your shipping methods. Now, finally, custom fields. We do support syncing custom fields between WooCommerce and QuickBooks. So on this page, you'll be able to select any custom field, and then you will be able to select the field to use in QuickBooks to sync that over to. Super handy for more advanced stores. Also on the topic of syncing additional data, I wanted to mention that we have extended compatibility with over 25 WooCommerce plugins. Now, what does that mean? We are compatible with almost all WooCommerce plugins, but what's different with our extended compatibility is we can sync specific data created by those plugins over to QuickBooks. So an example is WooCommerce shipping, WooCommerce subscriptions. We do have extended compatibility with all of these most common WooCommerce extensions, and again, quite a few of them. Next, I want to show you the WooCommerce orders page so that you can see just how closely we integrate your QuickBooks and your WooCommerce and kind of how closely integrated MyWorks is with the back end of your site. So as you can see here, you can see all of your orders as usual, but what's new is there's this QuickBooks desktop column here, which shows you your order sync status. So you'll always be able to see whether or not your orders have synced, and you'll notice here, we have some that are synced and some that are queued. What happens here is your orders get added to the queue and then they wait until the next sync interval to sync to QuickBooks. Now your sync interval can be anything you would like. It could be every five minutes, it could be every 10 minutes, it could be every 16 minutes. You can really enter any interval you'd like. Um, so an order would be queued here if it's just waiting for the next sync interval. Now, if something is marked here as not synced, the usual only reason for that would be that it hasn't gotten to the WooCommerce status at which we triggered that sync. For any reason it hadn't, let's say you're only syncing processing and completed orders, but this order is pending payment. If you still look at it and say, hey, I do want that in QuickBooks, you can just manually click to add it to the queue. Now, another alternative is if you don't want any of your data to sync to QuickBooks automatically, you can completely turn off the automatic sync, and then you can choose to instead come and look at your orders and then choose manually what orders you want to sync to QuickBooks. So again, we can automate things for you or we can leave them kind of more manual. So it's really up to you. You can really create a customization and a system that works for you. Now, just a few more things to show you. We do have push and pull pages. So these pages allow you to push data from WooCommerce to QuickBooks or pull data from QuickBooks into WooCommerce. It is an alternative to the, to the automatic sync and it is not necessary. However, if you have existing WooCommerce stores and existing QuickBooks accounts, you might need to, for example, push your existing WooCommerce customers over to QuickBooks because you haven't created them. Or you might have products in QuickBooks that don't yet exist in WooCommerce and you wanna pull them over. So, the way MyWorks handles this is we would never automatically sync any past data, anything that, that existed before we were set up on your site, but we would give you the option to manually sync this if you would like. So let's use this push page for, as an example. You can go to customers, select the customers that you wanna sync and sync them over to QuickBooks. Next, you can also go over to the pull page and from the pull page, you could sync inventory levels, pricing, or products over from QuickBooks into WooCommerce. So as you can see here, I could select all of those products and just pull them over. I can also see the sync status, so I can see whether or not these products exist in QuickBooks. In this example, you can see that we already have our blue t-shirt in red medium and red large already in WooCommerce, so we don't need to pull them over. But we don't have our inventory assembly number one in WooCommerce, so we could just select that and pull it over into WooCommerce. So very helpful tools to get all of your data in sync. As you can see here, we also have an option to pull in pricing from QuickBooks into WooCommerce. And what's nice here is we can actually choose the specific price level from QuickBooks to bring into WooCommerce. Now, let me take you back over to settings and we'll just review a few more kind of smaller use cases, but questions that you might have. So when syncing payments, we can sync both full and partial refunds. We're very flexible with this. 
we do support global currencies and global tax rates, and we support gifts cards as well as sinking discounts. Now on this page, you can also see two more exciting settings. We can sync a sales order to QuickBooks with an order, and then we can also sync a purchase order to QuickBooks with your order. And then what's nice here especially is that you can choose a template to be assigned for your purchase orders and then a specific format for those purchase orders as well. Now, if you need to sync them to a specific vendor, that's also something that we support. Great, now that covers some of the most common use cases and the most used features. If you do have any specific questions about your use case and your store and your accounting, please do reach out to us via live chat or schedule a live demo with us. Our team would be more than happy to talk you through this and answer your questions. Thank you so much and have a good one. Happy syncing. Goodbye.